Here at home, a Buffalo homeowner says tonight he is furious after he says that he became the victim of a racially charged attack. This is what Sean Reed woke up to this morning. Racial slurs scratched into the side of his car. But it all actually started a couple of weeks ago when someone painted this racial slur on his fence. Reed tells 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan he knows exactly who did it. Racial slurs covering the fence outside Sean Reed's home on Buffalo's east side. Reed's car was damaged too. The same slur scratched into the driver's side door. The fence his handyman was working to put up is only half finished. I feel bad. I mean, I, I work. I work hard. I pay my taxes and then, I mean, I don't bother nobody. And just for this to happen, I just want justice to be served. And a threatening letter in the mail also demeaning the African-American Marine. All separate incidents and all of it, according to Reed, done by that same handyman he hired in November to work on the fence. Four times now. What are you? Four times. Four different incidents. That handyman is listed in two of the reports filed by the Buffalo Police Department. The BPD is investigating and believes these incidents are all connected. It's like, I mean, who, what do I do? And I don't want to handle it myself. You know, but I will protect my family by any means necessary. After agreeing to pay half the price up front and the other half after the fence was finished, Reed says the man changed his mind halfway through the job. I spoke with the handyman on the phone. He says he was working on the fence, but had agreed to payments being made throughout the job. Reed says these racist attacks are all a result of that disagreement, but the handyman denies any involvement. Reed just wants to see some action by police. I'm angry, period at him but mainly you know that no one's contacted me I mean I mean what are they waiting for for me to harm him and then get in trouble Reed says he is frustrated with what he calls a lack of police action again I spoke with that handyman over the phone late this afternoon he told me he is not behind the vandalism and says he has not been contacted by the BPD once again the BPD says it is still investigating this situation Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News